Morgana is far better than Pikachu. Pikachu is garbage. I'm going to easily win this fight because Straptor and Gyarados will tear them to shreds. I just have to be careful that they don't kill Gyarados before uh, Gyarados can take care of the Steelix for me. Nobunaga.exe has stopped working. I might actually use these rocks here in a second. Come on over here, Scyther. I got a brain bird with your name on it, buddy. Do it, coward. Face me in honorly combat. You won't. Oh, you stupid idiot. Oh, yeah, one damage with Fury Cutter. You can definitely win this. Get intimidated, son. Super dead. Goodbye. Zekrom or Rayquaza? Easily Rayquaza. Don't even have to think about it. I do not play League of Legends, no. I don't... Like... I don't mind them. I don't, like overtly dislike them, but I'm not much of a PvP player. Like, stuff like Overwatch and League and etc. Games that are, like, heavily focused on you need to uh, play against other human players are not really my cup of tea. I don't dislike them, and, you know, if it intrigues me, I might play them, but definitely I don't actively seek out games like that. That's not the kind of genre I play. You're right, they could have attacked Yaksha, which is empty, and gotten a free win, but for some reason they attacked Kragspur, which has people in it. I don't know what the AI is doing. I guess it does I guess the AI doesn't really know what it's doing either. Any experience in fighting games? I'm not very good at fighting games, and so I don't play them much, but I have played Dragon Ball Fighters, I played uh, the Ultimate Ninja Storm games, I played uh, I play Smash. Uh, I played, um, what was the other one I was going to say that I played that's a fighting game? The My Hero Academia game, One's Justice. They're pretty fun, but again, I don't play many games that are, like, uh, player versus player. The AI automatically attacks armies after an officer event? That makes sense. Alright, we got this in the bag. What on earth made the AI think it could ever win this fight? <laughs> Please don't flinch me, because otherwise I have to wait another turn. Thank you. Now I can just win this turn instead. All of these effects having to go through. Yeah, I don't have anything against PvP games. There are some PvE, like, uh, when PUBG was popular, which is still kind of popular now, but it's not as popular because of Fortnite and all that. But, uh, when PUBG was, like, at the height of its popularity, I watched quite a few PUBG videos. I enjoyed watching other people play it. I just didn't like to play it myself. But, uh, that's just not my style of game. I don't enjoy playing them. I enjoy watching them from time to time, but they're not really my taste. I much prefer stuff like player versus environment, like stuff where you team up with your friends to fight stuff instead of fight against your friends or against other people, personally. And also, like, obviously, like, single-player games, specifically, like, RPGs and JRPGs, are much more my speed. We're about to have the easiest win of our life because Pugilist and, uh, Terraria are both easy wins. Can't wait to watch EVO in a few weeks. Always amazing how great the players are. Smash will be on main stage if you're still interested in it. I don't really watch tournaments and stuff like that. I'm not that into it. I want to, like... I want to, like, take Pugilus and then get the easy one in Terraria, but to get the easy one in Terraria, I have to have, like, four Mons available. So what do I have? I have seven Mons available, so I can send three to take Pugilus. So I should just send my three strongest. So I should send Samurai, Reshiram, and uh, Staraptor. And then the other four can get the win. Go to Crusalia. I do not like Resident Evil because I hate the horror genre. 
horror is my least favorite genre of any medium. Video game, movie, television series, anything. I don't enjoy horror. Like, I rarely get scared during horror, because, like, normal, like, scary stuff doesn't scare me, I guess. And even when I do actually get scared, that, like, that jump, like, that thrill that people say they get from horror, and that's from being scared, and that's why they like it, it doesn't bring me any joy. I don't like that feeling. So I do not enjoy, uh... I do not enjoy, um... I do not enjoy horror in the slightest. I played Fire Emblem Awakening and quit it when I was about uh, 30 hours in because I got fed up with the gameplay style. I really love the characters and the support stuff, though, and the getting to pair up characters. I liked a lot of the concepts in Fire Emblem, and I liked the characters in Fire Emblem, but the overall gameplay at the end of the day just rubbed me the wrong way. I didn't enjoy it. I am going to be getting three houses and giving it a try, though, but I'm not going to be doing that on Twitch or YouTube. I'll be doing it on my own time. Fresh Ram probably can solo Pugilist, but I like to play it safe since they all just got boosted to max energy. Hate turn-based games? I like turn-based games, as long as they're made well. Like, Digimon Story is turn-based, and Persona 5 is turn-based, and Persona 4, obviously, and I really love all of those games. You have a Reshiram, they need to play it safe. You're not wrong. You are not wrong, good sir. How are you going to bring a Hydrogen and a Dano to the fight? Ah, oh, dang, you're going to be able to hit Samurod, aren't you? Ah, oh, that's annoying. Fire Emblem's gameplay isn't for everyone, to be honest. I don't think it's Fire Emblem's gameplay. Like, the base gameplay of Fire Emblem, like, turn-based, move your unit here, attack, and all that shenanigans, I was all for that. I enjoyed it. There were, like, the ambush garbage they did, and the, uh, the counter-ability thing that eventually made me quit when as soon as I saw it, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, the base gameplay of Fire Emblem, I'm super down for, but there were too many other decisions put alongside it that just made it not enjoyable. Bum, 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 bum. So I do want to hit this Carnivine, but I'm pretty sure I can just kill the Dano and the... I can just... Yeah, I can kill Dano. Ah, oh, never mind. It knocked down the... I forgot that it would knock down the... Whatchamacallit. Alright, do this then. Hmm. You wouldn't like Minecraft because horror? I, I don't understand that joke at all. Minecraft is not a horror game in the slightest. What on earth do you mean? Oh no, my banners. Easy dodge. Yo, hit the gong. Just be Rush Ram's cheerleader, basically. That's all he needs at this point. Oh, look at this. High roll on the Hydrogen. Low roll, of course. I'm not going to be able to hit with a... Oh, no! It's a hero. I need a hero. Curse you. Raybird recoil. I can't kill the Quagsire or the Dano right now. Also, curse you, Dragon Pulse, for being a really good move. With good range. Ow. All right, something is dying this turn. Quagsire and the Hydrogen are dying this turn. That's what's dying. Goodbye. Burn away. Hmm. Alright, it's gonna have taken like an hour and a half, but we're about to be done with uh, Moto Chica's episode, which is good. And then we're gonna get into Iasu's, and we're gonna be in Iasu's for like the rest of this stream and next stream, to be honest. What's your opinion on no national decks in Sword and Shield? It's stupid and idiotic, and it just shows that Game Freak is... Game Freak and the Pokemon Company both are idiots, and uh, I'm not buying Sword and Shield. I'm not going to play them. Not only because of, like, 
the national decks being gone. That was just kind of the final straw for me. But, like, the excuses they've been making and the graphics not looking that great and Pokemon having been bad for the past, like, two, three games. I'm just like, you know, there are so many other good games that I can play instead. Why would I keep giving Game Freak and uh, the Pokemon Company money for a bad product? Or I guess not necessarily bad, but, like, a half-done project. Like, they could definitely do much better, but they don't because they'll make money either way, so they don't have to. You don't use warrior skills a lot? Uh, my counterpoint to you saying that is I've won almost every single time. Like, I always win. So, like, I win the game. So, yeah, I forget to use the warrior skills every now and then, but I'm still winning the game, so I don't think it really matters. If I was losing the game, then you could be like, well, Chaos, you're losing because you don't use the warrior skills. And then I'd be like, yeah, that's a good point. But I'm winning, so it doesn't really matter. All right, let's do this. I don't care about Pokemon Masters because I don't care about mobile games. You guys say I could win faster using warrior skills, and you're right in a strict sense of like, yes, it would be a bit faster, but my counterpoint to that is like, it would probably make the games take like, what, one less turn than what they're currently taking? Big deal. It doesn't matter. Thank you for the confidence. Thank goodness I have sprints. It's gonna be a little bit harder getting up where I need to be. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bana. You can't get there in one turn, can you? No, you can't. We're good. Oh, never mind. You can. That's annoying. It is brother versus sister. You're right. Dynamaxing is stupid because it's just worse versions of Mega Evolution. Your ability is range up, isn't it? Does it give range to anyone other than yourself? Oh, it's literally just, uh... It's the exact same as What's-His-Faces. It's not gonna get me far enough, though. Dang it. What if one of the reasons Digimon Survive is gonna be a tactical RPG is because of Fire Emblem? What do you mean by that? I don't think that the Digimon developers looked at Fire Emblem and thought, we need to make this exact game. I think that, like, Tactical RPG is a gameplay style that Fire Emblem itself is famous for, but other games also do, and so they decided, like, hey, let's try this out. I'm not going to play the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, no. Chaos, use your warrior skills. You got a big range up. Oh, yeah, Chad, it did a really good job, didn't it? Look at how useful that was. What a great job that range up did, get not getting me far enough in time. Don't you dare flinch. Good. Oh, there are absolutely... They've already said that there's going to be world and story games. Like, they already said the next story game is in production. They're not, like... They're not suddenly not doing world and story games because of, uh, Survive. That is not the case even slightly. You better hit this. Don't you dare miss! That's what I thought. Easy para. Get out of here. I'm playing Survive because I hate tactical RPGs even more than turn based games. Well, you know, game just isn't for you, dude. I imagine uh, it's not meant for everyone. Just like how I don't play fighting games very much, or I don't play horror games, I mean, I do play fighting games every now and then, but I don't play horror games. I think that they uh, get knocked off 
this next turn, so I need to make sure that I have everyone on top of a thing. I normally win Terrera, like, first go, so I never remember when the second hit is. Oh! I didn't... It didn't even occur to me that you could do that. Get frightened, son. Alright, they should get knocked down at the end of this turn, I think. So... I want to, like, stay right here. Probably should use the heal thing just to be safe, but whatever. And I need you to just, like, stay right here and be ready to go. Can't really, because that stupid tree, I can't get a hit off with you. Go on and go down. You can go ahead and go down, too. May as well. Otherwise, you'll just get knocked down. I played Grand Theft Auto 5, yes. It's the only Grand Theft Auto I've ever played. Oh, they're trying to go for the last flag, stupid idiots. You'll never make it in time. Yeah, there we go. Easy win. A little more of a hassle than usual, but we made it work. I played Grand Theft Auto V with some friends of mine for a good while. One of them being Lone Wolf, actually. Me, Lone Wolf, uh, my friend Joey, who most of you probably don't know, and my friend Jet, who most of you probably don't know. And by most of, I mean probably literally all of you. Alright, next turn I win. I did like GTA V. It was pretty fun, depending on what I was doing and who I was playing with. But, uh... No, I will not play it on the channel. I don't think it'd be good for my channel. I don't think it would be enjoyable to watch me playing it. I don't think I'd have fun commentating over it either, to be honest. We have won! The blue wave pushes back the black wave with crushing force and claims the region. We didn't just beat Nobunaga, we also took the entire, uh, entire region. I did it. I drove Nobunaga away. But there will be a second Nobunaga, and a third. I must defeat all of them. I must continue to resist tyranny in all its forms. You mean to tell me that Nobunaga can clone himself? Team Jackal, yeah. Good old days. Should we play some games again, but I haven't spoken to Joey probably in a long while. I haven't talked to Joey or Jet in ages. Jet hasn't talked to me since, like, May? Or not May, uh, March, I think. I don't like Call of Duty, so no, I won't be playing Call of Duty. And so Motochika defeated Nobunaga. Somehow his Samurott degenerated into a Daewat in the process. He stood firm against the Dark Tide and showed great courage and skill in battle. Indeed, his talents were already becoming too great for the borders of Ransei to contain. We're off to take over China! Yeah, now Motochika is the tyrant, exactly. How's it going, Raptor? Welcome to the stream. Alright, now we're going to start Yasu's story, which is going to be the 18th of 36 stories. Why won't I play Marvel Ultimate Alliance? Because I don't want to. The game doesn't interest me at all. There are so many other games that I'm actually interested in that I want to play. Like back at the barnyard for the PlayStation 2. Or GameCube, actually. I'll probably play it on my Dolphin emulator whenever I eventually play it. I want to play it on the channel, though, really badly. All right. Yasu, let's friggin' do this. The burden of peace. With high hopes placed on him by his faithful allies, Yasu sets out to collect as many Pokemon as he can. We need to get, like, at least 15 perfect links in this episode. First Nobunaga, and then the world. Uh, things are going alright for me, Raptor. After Solo had united Ransei and returned all its castles to their original, uh, owners, the following exchange took place in the Kingdom of Valora. I should imagine that the world will now know peace once more. Just as I've wished for all my long life. How old are you? Okay, you're only in your mid-40s at worst, surely. I have been blessed with such wonderful allies. There is nothing left for me to desire. Although I bet the life expectancy was a lot lower in your day and age. So you're probably getting on in the years. 
Respectfully, Lord Yasu, I must disagree. There is much we have yet to accomplish. Oh, to what are you referring? Pokemon, my lord. Partnering with Pokemon is what a warrior lives for. We should not forget that we warriors are privileged to be able to communicate with Pokemon in the way that we do. Think Yasu's in his 50s? Hey, it doesn't look like he has any, like, gray hair or anything going on. I think he's in, he's in his mid-40s. If he is in his 50s, it's like... If he's in his 50s, he's in his young 50s. He's like 51 or 52. I think he's in his mid-40s. You are correct, Tadakatsu. Very well. We shall seek to increase our Pokémon partners. 100 would appear to be a reasonable number to aim for. That's half of the gallery, so... Yes, I did see the crystal sheet that you made, Longwolf. Thank you for making that. I will play the SpongeBob movie game one day, but I'm not uh, thinking of it. We are not going to recruit the main character because I can't do anything with him in this episode anyways because I've already maxed out his uh, amount of Pokemon that he can have. So we're not going to do anything with the main character. I do not want to recruit him because, as far as I'm aware, that makes swarms stop happening. I'm not one. Uh, I haven't been told that in 100% confidence, but it's an observation many people have made that has not been disproven to my knowledge. So, and also I don't need him to do anything anyways to like get Eevees because he's already maxed out. So we're not going to be getting the main character in this run. Uh, definitely, I want to like just take as many kingdoms as we can, as fast as we can. I actually think we can get. Uh, do we have all the ghosts registered? Could I actually like finish? Could I evolve No in this episode? It doesn't matter if we can or not, because if I can't, then I'll evolve her in Nobunaga's episode. I know we don't have Toxicroak, so we can't do Nene. I don't think there are any main Warlords that I really want, other than the three that I currently have. So, if anything, I should try and get some random Warriors who have Pokemon that I don't have registered in the gallery. Let's... I have a Tang and layer on. Very good. I have all, all of them. They already have their perfect links at second form. That's nice. I want to be done with Spectre immediately, so I never have to worry about it again. So let's attack Spectre immediately and take it. Well, actually, you know what? It'll be easier to take Spectre if I take Dragnor first and get some people recruited. So let's do that. Yeah, I can win this easily. Yeah, let's go. It doesn't matter if I have Miss Magius or not, because I'll get Miss Magius on. No, I just don't think I have Driplim. I think Driplim is the only ghost I'm missing. Light Guy, thank you for following. Hope you enjoy this stream and future ones you come to. I think we'll be in Yasu's episode for this stream and all of next stream, and then I'll probably finish it next stream. So that's going to be like another two and a half hours today that I'll be in this one, and then about five hours I'll be in it next week. And I think that'll be enough time to make enough headway for me to be satisfied with stopping. Our main goal here is just get as many Warrior Perfect Links as we can, because this is a good episode to uh, take every single... You can take every single kingdom. You don't have to worry about anything after you take them all. And then we can just focus on leveling up every facility to, like, max, so we can get a lot of Pokemon. All right, that's one turn. I'm not super worried about recruiting, but I do want to make sure we at least get a couple of recruitments here, so I need to get as many kills as fast as I can because we don't have a lot of super effective options. In fact, I think the only thing we can super effectively hit is the Anorith. Stupid Magikarp thinks that just because it's water, it's not going to hurt him. Why are you... Honestly, I'm so glad that you wasted that heal move on that Magikarp. What an idiot maneuver. Alright, two more turns for kills. How much damage are you going to do to this thing? Not enough. Go ahead and hit it, though. I can kill you like this. Yeah. All right. It would actually just straight up be worth it to have everyone attack Oichi in these next two turns to recruit her, so I'm actually going to do that. 
Because she can't heal now. Hopefully she gets herself hit by one of the nodes. Nope. And actually, she moved so far away, I might not be able to kill her. Unless Matang does a lot of damage. Oh, thank you for dodging that. I totally forgot about the fact that Dragon Rage can one-shot all my Pokemon right now. Ow. I might be able to kill... Oichi, depending on how much damage this does. 15. That does 15. 17. I'd have to get high rolls. Or a crit. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I hate the setup I have right now. In that case, I should try and uh, recruit Ranmaru. How on earth? There's like not a good way. Okay, I'm gonna have to get Napoleon hit like this. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. The Magikarp is very broken. I'm not gonna, I don't plan on playing Kingdom Hearts 3 Critical on the channel, no. If there's ever like a point in my life where I decide like, hey, I wanna play Kingdom Hearts 3 on the channel again, then I'd do it critical mode, obviously, but I have no plans to in the near future. All right, we're gonna be able to recruit Ranmaru at least. Get Lucario to help us out. Gonna have to miss Oichi though, which is unfort, but that's fine. Because I think this was the last turn to recruit, if I'm not mistaken. Man, I wish I had a Gatorade right now. Oh yeah, double slap the steel type. Good plan. I mean, there's nothing else you can really do other than chase down Empoleon, I guess. Might just be time to go grab one. I'm kind of thinking at this point I'm just going to go without this stream because I'm only doing four hours today anyway. That is like another two and a half hours without a drink, though. I don't know. I might. That attack up is doing wonders. This lone Magikarp is the final survivor. All right, miss out on Oichi, but what are you going to do? Oh no, you splash! Everyone look out. Oh, thank goodness you can reach it. Get this thing out of here. Bullet punch! Goodbye. Our first goal, by the way, is we're just gonna, like, recruit a bunch of uh, warriors that don't have their perfect links yet and get them to start building up all the kingdoms. I was close the splash could have team wipes there yeah dude got lucky but uh the main goal is to do that what the heck was i saying give me these the main goal is to just knock out every single uh put grandmaru here knock out every single kingdom so we don't have to worry about them anymore but i also have to be careful and make sure that we um make sure that we get uh I cannot think straight. Make sure that we can get Tadakatsu to 80% link, because that's how high, he's like the highest evolution thing, I think, other than Nobunaga is also 80%. Hamlet, welcome to stream, raiding again. I've really got to get a raid command, or not a raid command, but I need to get a raid, uh, whatever it's called, a raid notification. I don't know why I don't have that by default. Yeah, why didn't the Magikarp heal itself? It just... It was all for taking damage from water. It just never wanted to heal. What a digital dummy. Are you guys perfect links with this Magikarp and Pichu? How you doing, Hamlet? How'd your stream go, dude? Did you manage to get that slow poke? I assume that's what you were doing, or were you doing something else? All right, both of you need perfect links. Excellent. Lone Wolf, don't we have a shoutout command now? I made a shoutout command, didn't I? Give, uh, give Hamlet a shoutout. Fighting Dragon? Still no slow poke. Mini sads. One day. One day. All right, let's see if we can uh, recruit Mitsuhad. Lampris is going to be such a pain to fight, though. Do I want to do this matchup? I mean, I have Aura Sphere. We should be fine. 
Maybe I should take on No first. Yeah, she has less uh, things, and maybe I can get Volcarona. All right, let's let's do that. Get Spectre done. No, it's not Shadow. I think it's S.O. Is it not S.O.? Third attempt and it just won't shine. Highly unfort. There it is. Yeah, it's just S.O. Yeah, Hamlet. He does uh, shiny hunting and I assume other things. What else do you stream, Hamlet? Or are you just mostly shiny hunting? But uh, check him out. It's cool, dude. Let's see here. 